you know, we've just finished 15 months of being cooped up and wearing masks and having our life change. And people are getting a little irritable and a little nervous and unsettled. So you might ask, in this time, how do I find gratitude? How do I resist getting unplugged? How do I find peace and calm in my life? For me, I talk to people. This is my dentist, and I tease him about his long hair. I said he looks like Moses or Abraham. And I'm looking at all my masks and glasses and hats and wondering, what am I going to do with these now? Since I was fortunate to get the vaccine early, I wanted to pay it forward, and I took my neighbor from Britain for her vaccine. And I'll never forget, she was frightened and said, I'm a little nervous now. I know many people had a rough time during these 15 months. I know many of you are depressed and are having mental health issues. And I just want to revisit what we did, and I want to talk about what you can do now to not come unplugged. I enjoyed all the little animals around me. There was a little lizard who visited, and now that the pandemic's over, it seems he's left, and I miss him. And, of course, many of us had our little pets to help us make it through the year. This is my little Barley and a friend's little Irpy and Chester and Willie. And this is Tybo. He's kind of neat. My brother taught him to dig. When you say, can you dig it, he digs a little spot in the ground. This is Augustus, a big mastiff. He thinks he's a lap dog. So I played a lot with him during the pandemic. Many of us were shut away from our families and couldn't be with them during important occasions like funerals or weddings. And so I revisited a lot of the memories from my mom and dad, from my mother's poems and my dad, all the teachings that he had when I was with him. I got reacquainted with my brother that I hadn't seen for a while. My younger brother helped me when I needed to go to the hospital. And that can continue, and I look forward to being with them more in the future. I enjoyed watching my neighbor. I made a video called The Anonymous Man as he greeted everyone's pets and gave them treats daily. Many of us tended to our garden. I watched many of you garden online. I think dealing with plants and watching them grow gives us all hope and a renewed spirit, and that's certainly something that we can continue to do. I have a little rose I found in the middle of my front hedges, and I was so surprised it's hidden in the bush, and it's been there for several years. See the little rosebud that's going to bloom? And then in the top of the hedges and bushes, there's more roses, so I was delighted to find those. Some of us got outside. Um, as the weather got nicer, I made a plan to look at all the waterfalls and track them down in the United States. Many are beginning to camp, and some can enjoy the ocean, beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Our museums are starting to open again now. This is the Los Angeles Museum of Art. They had an interesting display of all the unchecked books. So I looked at some of the titles. I'll do a posting in the future. What in the world did people not want to check out? You'll remember the restaurants were closed, so most of us had to start to cook at home or eat at home. I made a German chocolate cake and a crustless quiche. That was fun. Since many of the children were home from school, the family certainly grew closer to their children and made many memories. So in conclusion, what I'd say is, Look at the gratitude that you can find all around you. Be grateful, find joy, focus on what you have. So remember, it's over now. Find gratitude and be positive. My very best to all of you.